A lot of the time these days when you get a site survey you'll get a DWG file which is a two-dimensional file and another one or sometimes in the same file with the three-dimensional points. This is how to create a terrain based on those points in SketchUp. So I'm going to just delete the little person in my new file. I'm going to go to file, import and find that DWG so that is here. Select it, I've got DWG as the format for the file import and then press import. Don't need to worry about the options at all. So that's just imported and it's now put it into the page. You will see at the bottom there's the 2D site survey um, but the, up here are all of the contours. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I, I know that these contours are going to be in a class called contours. So there's contour minor and there's contour major you just click on them. I'm looking at my entity info on the top right hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my, I'm just going to select all of these. I'm actually going to click on one, hold down shift and click on the bottom one and then I'm going to turn the visibility off. I'm going to do the same for fence, scroll down, hold down shift, click on wall points and then click all of those off. So I'm now left with my contours. So these two little bits here, I'm just going to delete them bit pointless and small. Now there are a few gaps here. Um, I'm not going to faff around too much. I'm basically just going to fill them in with a line. Escape and fill in that one. So sometimes this will happen. You'll just get a face filling in. Doesn't matter. You can just click on it and delete it. And then with the other ones so there. Fill that one in. There, right, I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom because it's the bottom of the site. <clears throat> now, next thing I'm going to do is select all of them, being careful not to accidentally select anything that's below. So I'm going to go to the Draw menu and Sandbox and from Contours. And if you've ever been wondering what this does, oh, no, not from scratch, Sandbox, from Contours. This is just going to create a terrain based on those contours. So you'll see that it touches where those contours are. Now the terrain is actually a separate group. So if I just show that, this is just one group. So I can actually copy that. And say you've got another model and you want to sort of build your the rest of your model so that it sits on top of that or dropped into the landscape, that's what you'll do. So I've got another file that I'm going to be using this on, so I'll literally open the other file, paste this in, um, and perhaps I will do another video to show you how you can work with the terrain. In all honesty, if this was um, a project that I was doing from scratch and I was just doing visuals in SketchUp, I would say it would be much easier just to draw a rectangle like this, push and pull it up, and then kind of eyeball it and go, right, I reckon it's something like that kind of slope and push it through. Because if, if you're standing at the bottom of the garden down here, you know, you, you're just not reading that much of a slope, really. Plus, it's easier to, to deal with a kind of consistent slope. Whereas, I mean, this slope, say if I wanted to draw something on it, it's not actually going to work at all. I can draw a rectangle on it, you know, and, and I could push and pull, or I could manipulate that. This one here, if I just go to view uh, hidden geometry, you'll see it's made up of loads of triangles. You cannot draw directly on this this terrain. You, what you would have to do is basically link up these triangles. So this bit here, I could push and pull, um, and I would have to kind of manipulate. You know, these two bits, I could probably like pull this one and pull this one to create a rectangle, but it's never going to be quite the same. Um, and it's you're always going to be kind of faffing around with little segments and so on. So unless it's really important to your model to have the terrain, or you've got more complicated terrain than this, generally I just wouldn't bother. So hopefully that is helpful, and I will do another video to show you how to drape a model on top of the terrain.